This is the bomb devil fruit in Blocks Fruits. Beautiful, isn't it? Uh, definitely just not edible. Oh, well, today I'm unlocking all of the abilities of the bomb fruit to fight five random bosses from the entirety of Blocks Fruits. And why five, you might be asking? Well, that's because the bomb fruit is number five on the wiki. And not because I can't be bothered to fight every boss. This is all to prove the strength of the bomb fruit. Wait, I should eat this before it explodes. Well, now that I'm a bomb man with surprisingly every single move oh apart God. from the final one, we need to work on getting this final move, which is only like 10 mastery needed. But I want to make this more difficult for myself. You see, I've got targeted bomb, bomb grab, and landmine. I want to get all of this mastery I need just by placing down landmines on the floor. Because if I go like this, wow, that is very few landmines. I'm not going to... Wait, can you like just follow me over here for a second? I need to test this. Wow, that does no damage. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be tough. I'm not trained in the art of blocks fruits anymore. I don't remember how this works. Oh! Before even doing that, though, I need to show off the power of the bomb. We've got targeted bomb, which the more I hold it, the more damage I think it does. Yeah, like 3.7k. What if I just tap it? I think it does less, right? Yeah, 2.4. Then we've also got bomb grab, so I can come over here and yoink. 2.5k damage, you know, something nice. And explosive jump. Uh, which didn't send me up high at all, but it's it's good, I promise. But now we need to go find people to landmine. And if I want to get this mastery first, I need to find the perfect enemies. The ice cream land. This is the hardest place to fight in the entire game. So I think this is like literally perfect for me to start grinding. Ice cream commander taste landmines. That tickled him. Bro, he can destroy trees? I, I didn't realize I was fighting him. This guy might be the protagonist. Hang on. To make him walk across every single mine. It's like stepping on Legos. Nice. Nice. Huge. Okay, now we just use another landmines. No. Oh. All right, maybe we try a different mob. That's like maybe not on our level. We'll go over this way instead. You see, I don't even know why I'm making it so much harder for myself to get this last move, but I am. Peanut Scout. This will be easy. Please, just walk this way. This is so stressful. I haven't had Haki activated this whole time. Whoops. Yes. Yes. Oh. Wait, what? Only four levels? Wait, hang on a sec. What? Okay, how about we do another one then? 121 and we beat two of them? Okay, we're going somewhere else. What is another enemy that would get destroyed by the landmines? I have found him. The training dummy, level 1500. This is a mob that you can only defeat if you have enough damage output, like constantly, because he heals. So I want to see if I can beat him just with landmines. Yo, training dummy, can you like walk into one of my mines, please? Nice, perfect. Right, now he goes this way. Landmines, small landmines. Yes, yes, it's working. He can't heal fast enough. Wait, now I just don't have cooldowns. Now that's impossible. What if I use all of my powers completely? Combined. Targeted bomb, bomb grab, explosive jump. Please work. This is impossible. I gotta get like really incredibly lucky. Yeah, no, that training dummy is invincible. It's impossible to beat him with the bomb fruit. I may have actually just found a boss harder to defeat than the cake queen. Speaking of the cake queen, let's just fight her to get my XP. Only using landmines. Yes, yes. This is gonna take so long, but I'm gonna do it. Oh, wait, if I hold this, how far can I? Oh, wait, I've got a straight up minefield now. And they do 1,000 damage per step. These are OP. Wait, this fruit might actually be one of the most busted ever. And it's a comet. Yeah, like, good luck trying to step anywhere, Cake Queen. With this minefield, this might be it. These are, like, kind of smaller ones that I'm normally placing down. But I think this should be fine. It's taken time and effort and a lot of leading around. But I think she's nearly gone. She dodged the next one. Okay, right. Here we go. Big minefield. Boom. Yes. New skill available. 171 mastery. I'm on a new level now. My final move is called self-destruct. That just sounds epic. And this move is going to be perfect to fight against stone. We're going to fight stone. We're about to do a mirror match. I swear that stone has a bomb fruit as well, right? It's fate. It's meant to be. I'm meant to destroy him in the mirror match. And this is only the first out of the five bosses we're going to defeat. So we need to make sure we set a good record and defeat him like instantly off the get-go. Here is my genius point. Plan. Place down so many mines that he just doesn't know what to do. That seems to be the limit. Oh my god. Okay, knock him into the mines. Oh yeah, this is the way. Yes, yes. Try and walk towards me, Stone. It's gonna hurt. And now we hit him with our brand new move called self-destruct. This just sounds epic. Boom! Oh my god. But that was OP. 5k damage just like from one hit. I mean, we're doing a pretty good job so far. I'll place down some more mines. You see, this is why I've got like the improved bomb fruit. Stone's got the weaker version. He can't straight up self-destruct. I gotta finish this with a self-destruct. Yes, walk towards me. Walk towards me. Perfect. Here goes. Boom! 
How are you alive? It was perfect. It, it was going to be glorious. And now it's just incredibly anticlimactic. Well, we at least defeated the first boss. Boss number two is the mob leader. Bro, who even is this? I don't know who this is. I found him. He's hiding in like this little cave thing because he's afraid. And he's only level 120. So we're going to completely change our stats because I'm like way too strong. I'm literally built different right now. All right, now that I'm built like a twig, let's do this. Mob leader versus landmines. I can place them everywhere in his base. Wait, this just isn't fair. This is like actually my domain now. I could just keep replacing his floor with landmines. Explosive jump. There we go. Mob leader defeated. But two out of five so far. This is going great. Because if I die, I have to give away permanent bomb fruits. And I don't want anybody else to have to use this glorious fruit. I'm going for a clean sweep. And to keep up that clean sweep, we are going to fight next. Oh, this is going to be rough. The awakened ice admiral. He's level 1400. I guess we got to add like a bunch of stats. I can win this mirror match. I just got to believe. And also set down a bunch of traps before the fight even starts. All right, now I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Boom. Nice, nice. Now come this way. Come this way. Perfect. That hurts so much. Oh, no. Targeted bomb. Boom. He is not dead. Self-destruct. How is he not dead? Okay, fine. Try and chase me. Look, this hallway is covered. You'll never reach me. He reached me. Oh, I did it. And I found a library key. Cool. I forgot what this is used for. But anyway, that was only boss number three. And he nearly completely destroyed me. So hopefully number four is easier. This has got to be the easiest boss ever. Or I might be finished. Perfect. Fajita. I can deal with meteors. I cannot deal with meteors. Oh, well, there goes one permanent bomb fruit. I don't know why I add these stupid little challenges into these videos. Like, I would already be done by now if I had to just level up the bomb fruit. But instead, I've got to fight this fajita guy and possibly get destroyed over and over again. All because I'm too stubborn. Anyway, follow me, fajita. Time for you to get blown up. Uh oh, get up, get up. Dodge and weave <laughs> again. Jump. But it's actually kind of working doing that. If I just explosive jump into the sky, his meteors do nothing. That is definitely the play. Self-destruct. Boom. Yes, I did it. And his meteor nearly destroyed me from the afterlife, which means we're down to the final boss to prove that the bomb fruit is actually like kind of good. And that boss is going to be something easy. Come on. No, 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 no. no. The Doe Prince? Well, that's impossible. I don't even think I could beat him with the Buddha fruit fully awakened with me at max level. But I'm going to give it a go anyway with my amazing bomb fruit. And if you've never seen the Doe Prince before in Blocks Fruits, you need to literally beat 500 mobs just to summon him in. Or 457. And he spawns from like this portal thing here. So that's how you know he's going to be OP. But that also means that I'm going to need to get grinding and defeat 500 mobs on this island with the bomb fruit. This is going to take like multiple hours unless I like bribe some people to help me. After crying and begging for people to help me, it's finally time, nearly, to fight the Doe Prince. It's gonna be glorious. Honestly, the Doe Prince is not ready for me. And my amazing bomb powers. Here goes. Doe Prince time. With 16 more enemies. Get back to work. Bomb! Question mark exclamation point. What, do you not believe in the power of the bomb? I believe in the power of the bomb. Now go fight the enemies. It's time for me to solo him. A dimension has spawned. Here we go. This is number five. This is really not gonna go well. I need to place down my landmines and then and I hope that the Doe Prince, like, comes over here. Nice. Big damage. Self-destruct. Yeah, if I hold it in, I, like, charge it all inside of me. And then the radius is, like, insane. But obviously, like, I don't really have the facilities to be able to do that in this. Because the Doe Prince is just going to keep on, like, not trying to go for me. I've got all these landmines and he's not walking into any of them. Boom! Self-destruct. 7,000 damage. Where has he gone? Oh, he's over there. Wait, because there's two of us, we're actually kind of doing it. I need to him the fattest self-destruct ever. That's right. Try and get towards me. What? If I hold that, do I, like, die faster? Well, there goes another permanent bomb fruit. No, I refuse to give up. Yes, yes, land down here. What? He just used that punch from the sky. I didn't think he had the brains. These Roblox NPCs are smart. 8k damage. Where has he gone? He's over there. Yes, yes, get close. I am so stupid. I forgot that just takes away my health. Yeah, that's three deaths. But it doesn't matter. You see, I'm fine with dying just as long as we beat this guy. This boss has got some like advanced AI or something. He is built different. He's not like the other blocks through bosses. He can actually fight back. No. Oh, I'm dead again. I actually can't believe I'm getting destroyed this bad. I've got a new plan. Sit all the way over here and just keep sniping him. Oh, the dimension has disappeared. That's actually tragic. I was like sniping him from far away and it just ended. That one is just impossible. And now begins the salesman arc. Can I interest anyone in some bombs? Brick says yes. Okay, don't worry, Brick. I got you. There we go. That's the first victim down. All right, now we just need to give three more people a permanent bomb for it. This guy here said he also wants a free permanent bomb. I don't know why, but there's two. I don't know why. 
why people want this. Red Smurf also said he does. That just means there's going to be so many more people placing floor bomb traps everywhere. I need one more person to pick. Yes, yes, yes. This guy here. He wanted the bomb. There we go. We've given away all the bombs. I can't believe I managed to die so many times in just five bosses. But with this, we have truly mastered the bomb bomb fruit. Oh, whoops. I accidentally killed that guy.